Hello everyone. All right, so this video is going to show you how to set up voice attack so that you can do an automatic landing and takeoff. Now, originally I got this from Subliminal and he did a great video that explains exactly how to set up the auto key function so that you can use this with uh, either a joystick button or maybe game glass or something like that but I wanted to create a video to show how to do this and use voice attack specifically and I'll link a con I'll link in the description below his video because you definitely should take a look at it because it's really good and explains exactly the process for how to create uh, this this actual script and how to run it so I won't go over exactly everything that he did in that one because his video explains it very well. But this is, again, specifically for voice attack. Now, the first thing that we want to do, and I'm showing you the, the three main uh, programs that I'm going to use are the three main elements. I've got voice attack open, and I've got the actual script that I'm using, and I've got something down here that comes with auto hotkey called an EXE converter. And we'll get to that at the end, but I thought it was a really cool thing, so I'm going to include it in my video. So, the actual script itself is pretty straightforward. I didn't really have to make too many changes from what Subliminal did, <clears throat> except, of course, to get my mouse coordinates. And he used uh, that really cool program. And watch his video, and you'll see what I'm talking about um, to get the actual mouse coordinates um, for this script. Now, one thing that I do want to say about this script here um, that people may not be aware of, whenever you see a semicolon at the beginning of a line, that means that that line is a comment and it's not actually being executed. And if you notice in my script here, I actually commented out the sound. Now, I did this, originally I had put this in here, but then I realized after I created the script, hey, this sound will only run um, no matter whether I'm landing or taking off and it doesn't make sense to put this in here if I'm going to be uh, taking off and have a landing sound in here so I just commented this out and I could really just delete this whole line it's not necessary but I am going to put sounds from voice attack and I have a, a voice pack that I I use I like Alex and I'll show you how I'm going to do that later so anyway here's my script and like I said it's pretty much the same or very similar to what Subliminal did. I'm still using the same exact hotkey that he used, which is Shift 1. Um, but like he said in his video, you can use any key here if you understand how these commands work. So I, I won't get into that, but that's the script. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to go into Voice Attack and we need to actually set up the Voice Attack commands. So if, if you've ever used Voice Attack for Star Citizen, you know that uh, the profile HCS Event Horizon SC Beta is the profile that you should always have loaded for Voice Attack, and it will pull in all of the commands that HCS has set up for Star Citizen. It's always going to say Beta. That is normal, but this is the one that should always be running. However, what I did is I put my custom commands in another profile and I linked this profile into um, my Star Citizen profile. So this is the profile where I'm going to actually add in my commands. So I'm going to edit this and I'm just going to show you what the commands actually look like. I've already created them. But I have two commands in here, one request landing and one request takeoff. So let's look at request landing first. So it's literally just two lines of, of, of commands in here. The first one just literally sets up uh, the actual hotkey to run the auto hotkey program. So if I, I'll just show you what it looks like. All I did was open up um, edit and um, well let me show you from the beginning here let me just delete the command so if I say 
when I say request landing and that's my my voice command I say key press and what I want to do is I want to um, press the shift key the left shift and one so I literally press those keys on my keyboard and you see it shows it up here on the screen and then I click OK I leave everything else as default uh, let me put it at the top here so that's all that command is now the second command this is actually the voice uh, attack uh, file that I want to run so this is the sound that's actually going to play every time I I execute this command now voice attack is really cool in the voice packs and they have tons and tons of commands and um, I just went through all of their uh, commands and I picked one that I really liked so you have to find the the actual um, the the folder where wherever your voice pack is installed and I and here I have a folder called takeoff and landing and as you can see there's all of these different sounds that can play for takeoff and landing and I just picked one that I thought was really cool um, a cool sound to play whenever I'm trying to request landing and the one that I picked is actually called um, request request landing pad so every time I click on this command it's going to run that for request landing now I click OK and that one's done and then I created a similar one for <clears throat> takeoff now takeoff in my voice pack they don't actually have a specific command for taking off but I did found something that I liked and again it's in the same folder and it's called departure um, departure procedures initiating it's a generic command but it's one that I liked and like I said whatever voice pack you have you can just find a, a, a voice file a sound file that you like um, for these commands so and again the key press is exactly the same so I'm really running the same script here so it doesn't matter which command I'm actually running whether it's takeoff or landing it's going to run the same file and that is the reason why I removed the sound command from the actual hotkey because that this makes it now generic and it doesn't care what sound I'm using the sound actually is being customized inside a voice attack and not from the actual script that I created um, for the hotkey okay so now here is the tricky part about voice attack voice attack actually has some built-in commands for uh, landing and those commands will conflict with the ones that you just created in your separate profile in fact they will override those so if I just try to to run this command and I said um, request landing it wouldn't actually pull it from my file it would actually pull it from in here so what we have to do is we have to modify the actual text commands um, inside of this to prevent that from happening now what we have to do is we have to open up the uh, the customizer and the way we do that <clears throat> with voice attack it's left control left shift left alt and enter opening customizer okay so here is the customizer and what we want to do is we want to go into the voice trigger editor and down in the voice trigger editor if you've ever made any modifications if you look at the list here you see how star citizen is blue so that means that I've made some kind of modification before for the voice triggers now we can't actually uh, update the commands but we can update the actual voice triggers and what we want to look for on this list is takeoff and landings so I expand that list and if you look down here you're going to see there's really nothing specifically for taking off that we care about that takeoff down there doesn't matter 
but this this request docking this is for landing now if you look in the actual voice trigger command you'll see you'll have the word request and then you'll have docking and landing and that's the problem we can't have this command use the word landing in it so I'm literally just going to delete that one word and a semicolon in front of it because we don't need it just like that and apply and also down here you see it says the spoken lines you see how it says request for landing request for landing permission when I click apply boom those two disappear and notice how this turns blue that's because I've modified it now if I ever want to go back and I don't want to make keep any of these changes I can always just come back in here to this command and hit reset and it will reset it back to its default settings but in this case we want to get rid of it so I'm going to say delete that word landing apply done and that's it come on finish done okay and then save changes to close the the customizer, customizer. closed so now Set the actual save. command that's actually going to run when I say request landing is going to come from my own profile and it's going to run it from here as far as takeoff is concerned there is no equivalent inside of the uh, these the uh, the horizon SC profile so that one is safe I can just you just uh, initiate this command is say request takeoff uh, they, they say some other things like uh, request docking or, or something like that but they don't say specifically the word the two, two words together request request takeoff okay now now the, now voice attack is all set up and our script is, is all set up now the next thing that I want to do and I thought this was really cool was you can actually create an executable file out of that script that was just created so how do we do that when you first install um, the auto hotkey it's going to store it somewhere probably you know wherever you install it to it's going to actually have a folder here called compiler so if you go into compiler you'll find an executable called ahk2exe.exe so that's what this is I'm running this command here and what I want to do is I want to load in two parameters the main parameters is the source and the destination so the source is the script file that uh, we just created and all I have to do is go and find that find that a okay so this is the location of that script so I'm going to set the location and now it's going to pull in the file and that's where the script is going to come from then the destination is going to be wherever I want to actually save the executable file that I'm creating so again I'm, I'm going to use the startup folder and the startup folder is mentioned in subliminal script but basically it's for me it's here and this the script already is in here but if it wasn't in here I would just type in the name of of the script and then it would just save it in here so this is the name that I'm calling my script I'm calling it SC request landing dash takeoff okay now that you have these two saved in here all you have to do is click on convert and when you click on convert is actually that's all you have to do you have to click on convert and it will convert the script into an executable file and it tells you what folder it's putting it in you click on OK and if you look in your startup folder 
then you will see the file stored here so every time I turn on my computer it's actually going to run this script and I don't know if it, it if it's if it helps or not or if it runs any faster but I, I like doing it like this instead of actually putting the actual script in here um, and that's just me it's totally personal preference you don't have to do that you could actually just take the actual um, here let me show you you could actually just put the actual um, script itself that we created in this folder in a startup folder you don't need to create a comp uh, a compiled executable but that's just the way that I like to do this okay so once all of that's done then all you have to do is go into the game and um, go request a landing or a takeoff and it will play the appropriate file and the sound and it's going to run the exact same script for both so I hope this is helpful to people and I hope it helps you to understand oh and one last thing I wanted to tell you is um, make sure that when you exit voice attack or when you're done with it that you set it back to HCS event horizon it's very important that that one is always the last profile that you have running because it will remember that and it will always load that profile and like I said my profile is actually linked to it <clears throat> so it actually will run commands from both this one and from my profile and that'll do it for this video uh, thanks for watching if you like the video uh, please give it a like take care